So a lot of that has to go with um, trust, building trust with the partner that, that, and having an open and honest communications and transparency with them. And, uh, and some of that starts with laying out the expectations in when you're forming the relationships in the beginning itself. And, and uh, that is what, what's the way of working is going to be, what the uh, metrics, et cetera, are, how are we going to track progress, you know, how are we going to escalate things. So, so a lot of that, uh, is, so that the issues when they do come about, we already have discussed what the process is going to be and we can work collaboratively. So I think that working with collaboration, realizing that the partners are here as a partner and we need to treat them with respect and dignity as well. So, so that's paramount. And, and while keeping quality in, in control, because quality is paramount for us, yeah. You must be transparent and very honest. So uh, a CMO must think that they are part of your business. They must feel engaged with your business. And you only can get that being transparent, being very honest, and helping him to achieve the best results. comes down to communication. I think it's that follow through, do what you're saying, what you say you're going to do, and follow through on your obligations. You can't just expect a CMO or a contract lab to just follow the instructions because you ask them to. You have to share a lot of what your business plan and objectives are and what your obligations are too. Um, I wouldn't say we necessarily use techniques. I think we really boil um, the industry and our operations down to what it really is and that's an interaction between people to support people, the patients. And so it's really about, um, I wouldn't call honesty a, a technique, I wouldn't call transparency a technique, but uh, it's actually I think those principles are what we apply when we're interacting with, um, with our uh, CMO network. The client has to take the lead. You have to set the tone and take the initiative to initiate communication, to be the source of ideas, or at least to be the facilitator of ideas. And, and what I like to do with my CMOs is create an atmosphere of a team where you're, you're working to generate uh, the concept of we as the team instead of us and them. So I try and get everyone on the same side of the table and generate a culture where we're solving problems together. And I solicit ideas back and forth from them. I contribute as much, if not more, and we work brainstorming until we come up with solutions to problems.